Welcome to I Don't Need an Acting Class with Milton Justice. Am I the only one that can ever see who's in the waiting room? That's so interesting. I hate that light on you, Greg. No, me too, but it's all, it's all that I've got. I know, I know. I, you have to get this over the weekend. You have to get this. It just looks like a floodlight. Just like well, flashing. no, it does, and it makes you have a horrible complexion. And you know how I am oh, about oh. that. And also, you're, on my screen, you're right above Raphael, who somehow or another has managed to have perfect light in Sweden, so his complexion kind of shines. I'll put that in the dailies for next rehearsal. Yeah, would you mind? <laughs> okay. So, I want to bring back up today the word rasbor, which keeps hitting me and keeps hitting me, and I keep finding different definitions of it and different translations of it. It's obviously, it's a Russian word to dig down under what you're talking about. And this came up the other day because, well, it started with me with Giancarlo, who understood the plot of what he was talking about, but it's like he didn't dig, and he didn't dig to figure out exactly what that meant. And I realized this is a new way of thinking in terms of acting. This is not something we're accustomed to doing. We're not, I, we're not accustomed to thinking. And so this is this really big demand on us to dig down and figure out what it means, what's really going on, what is that that we're talking about. Uh, an actor once said to me, Stella Adler taught me how to think. And I thought, well, yes, that's what we did. We learned how to think. So, you know, you have to understand you're taking on board something that is not normal. It is not, we are not asked to think. Uh, we're not, so this is, this is something you have to say, okay, now that I'm out of, for those of you who've graduated from college or what I call advanced high school, now that you've moved out of advanced high school and into the real world, you're going to have to, you, you are going to have to take on board something that they didn't demand of you, which is that you learned how to think. So, I mean, grab on it. I mean, really know that this is the thing that is going to move you forward. The fact that you can think about ideas, you can talk about ideas, you can have a sense of ideas, and you can let these ideas influence your work. You're, you're adding something to yourself as a human being when you take on acting. When you take on acting, you are taking on an obligation to become a better human being because you are forced to think. You're forced to have ideas and you're forced to contribute. I've told you there was an actress I did a film with in the mid 70s and uh, named Julie Harris, and she won four Tony Awards. Wonderful, wonderful actress. And she said, you know, Milton, Julie was the sort of person that we had, we were, we shot in Barcelona for a month and in London for two months, we had a day off. Julie went to the Bronte country. Lee Grant and I went to Harrods and went shopping, but Julie took two trains and a bus to go to the Bronte country. And, you know, this is way, way, way back before selfies. This is way back before iPhones. I mean, we didn't even know such a thing would ever exist. And she had this little, uh, she had this little Polaroid camera. 
and she took these pictures and she came for Christmas dinner and she showed me the pictures and she said, you see, this is the house where the Bronte sisters lived. And this is the room that their brother lived in. You know, he didn't know that they were writers. And I kept thinking, God, that's why she's Julie Harris. It's because we went shopping and she took two trains and a bus to go way out to see the house where where the Bronte sisters grew up. Uh, Anyway, but Julie said to me, she said, you know, Milton, I never went to college. But she said, I feel as if I have a master's degree in every play I ever did. And I, I, I think that's the issue. The joy of what we do is that you get a master's degree in the subject. And that you know if it's in the 60s, you know about the 60s, but you don't know about the 60s as if you're a history teacher doing facts. You know about the 60s from the experience of the 60s. You know about the Depression from the experience of the Depression. You know about the world after World War II from the experience of it. It's almost like you can say to somebody, you have no idea what it was like. Can you imagine going into a bar and they didn't serve you? You see, that's the difference. That's the difference in in saying, well, in the 60s, they didn't serve homosexuals in bars. You see, you want to move into that point. You want to move into the point where that's what you really understand. And you understand that particular way of approaching material. So this is really an important thing for us to add. And I'd like to thank Giancarlo for making that mistake because it really made me think about why. What is it that we don't see? I Don't Need an Acting Class is hosted and created by Milton Justice. Senior producer is me, Walker Vreeland, and director of online media is Evan Sollers. Music by Jeffrey Keezer Trio, May This Be Love, from their album On My Way to You. If you have a moment, please rate us and review us on Apple Podcasts. It helps other people find us. And uh, if you would like to send an email, if you have a question for Milton, you can do so at questionsformilton at gmail.com. Another way to get in touch is on Instagram at I don't need an acting class. It's brought to you by weaudition.com, a full service online platform for actors. And if you sign up and use the code acting class, get 25% off again get 25% off when you use the code acting class. Again, the website is weaudition.com. Have a fabulous week, everybody, and we will see you back here next time.